హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఈ వీడియోలో మనము వికారాబాద్ డిస్టిక్ ప్రీ ఫైనల్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ విత్ ఆన్సర్స్ డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం మనం సెక్షన్ వన్లోకి వెళ్దాం సెక్షన్ వన్లో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫైండ్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ లాక్ సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ బే బేస్ రూట్ ఫైవ్ సో లాక్ సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ బేస్ రూట్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ కెన్ బీ ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ యాజ్ ఎక్స్ ఇక్కడ మనకు వాల్యూ తెలియదు కాబట్టి ఈ వాల్యూని మనం ఎక్స్ అని రిప్రజెంట్ చేసుకోవాలి సో దిస్ ఈజ్ లాగర్ థమ్ ఫామ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్పోనెన్షియల్ ఫామ్ ఎక్స్పోనెన్షియల్ ఫామ్ ఇది లాగర్ థమ్ ఫామ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు నో ఎక్స్పోనెన్షియల్ అండ్ ఫామ్ అండ్ లాగర్ థమ్ ఫామ్ కనెక్షన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ కెన్ బి ఎక్స్ప్రెస్ యాజ్ ఫైవ్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ సో రూట్ ఫైవ్ అంటే ఫైవ్ టు ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ వన్ బై టూ వన్ బై టూ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్ బై టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైవ్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ బేసెస్ సేమ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఈక్వెట్ ద పవర్స్ ఎక్స్ బై టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫోర్ డివిజన్ గోస్ టు దట్ సైడ్ విల్ బికమ్ మల్టిప్లికేషన్ టూ ఫోర్ జా ఎయిట్ సో ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎయిట్ దట్ మీన్స్ లాక్ సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ బేస్ రూట్ ఫైవ్ వాల్యూ ఈజ్ ఎయిట్ A is equal to x such that x is a factor of 12. B is equal to x such that x is a factor of 48. Represent A intersection B in Venn diagram. Factors of 12 this calls friends. Factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Is a factors of 48. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24. Clearly A intersection B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So which can be seen in the screen. So this is... the venn diagram moving on to the next question the product of two successive positive even numbers is 168 write the quadratic expression for the data let us assume that two consecutive or successive positive even numbers as 2x and 2x plus 2 these are the even numbers so the product is given as 126 so 2x into 2x plus 2 is equal to 168 2x into 2x is 4x square 2x 2 is a 4x plus 168 comes to the other side will become minus 168. Clearly all these terms are divisible by 4 students. So x square plus 1x minus 42 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. Fourth question triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, AB 12, DE 24 and the ratio of areas of triangles ABC and DEF are. so we have to know the area of similar triangles theorem for this area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle def should be equal to ab square by de square so this is the theorem students so area of triangle abc we don't know area of triangle abc you have to write as it is area of triangle def also should be represented as it is ab is 12 so we have to represent with 12 square DE is 24, 24 square. 12 square value is 144, 24 square value is 576. So 144, 1 is 144, 4 is. So area of triangle ABC by area of triangle DEF is nothing but 1 by 4. Fifth question. If the radius of hemisphere ball is 14 centimeters, then find the volume of the ball. So we have to use the volume of the hemisphere ball here. Volume of hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So where r is nothing but radius. So radius is given as 14. We have to represent this one in the formula. 2 by 3 pi value we know 22 by 7. 14 into 14 into 14 which is nothing but 5747.7 centimeter cube. Moving on to the last question in this section 1. Kavitha said that 3x plus 2y is equal to 8 and 6x plus 4y is equal to 16. Pair of linear equations are coincident lines. Do you agree with her? Justify your answer. So we know the coincident line condition. It should be equal to a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2. All should be, ratios should be equal. Clearly here a1 by a2, b1 by b2, c1 by c2 are equal. Therefore they are, they form collinear, sorry, coincident lines. So I agree with Kavita. So finally this step is important students. Do you agree with her? Yes, I agree with, agree with Kavita. You have to write this. step and just solving and proving does not enough so manam em cheyali ante coincident lines and prove chesi are you agree with kavita yes ee step leyindi meeku mottham marks raavu students so don't forget to write this step so section 2 first question write the polynomial whose zeros are so quadratic polynomial anna only polynomial anna we have to so only quadratic polynomial adigina polynomial adigina మనము ఈ ఫామ్లో యూజ్ చేయాలి స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎక్స్ స్క్వార్ మైనస్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ జీరోస్ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ ప్ర
సో జీరోస్ ఇచ్చాడు కాబట్టి సమ్ అంటే ఈ రెండింటిని యాడ్ చేయాలి సో ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ మైనస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ ప్లస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ ఎక్స్ ప్రోడక్ట్ అంటే ఆల్ఫా బీటేని మల్టిప్లై చేయాలి మైనస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ ఇంటూ రూట్ సెవెన్ సో మైనస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ ప్లస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ క్యాన్సల్ జీరో మైనస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ ఇంటూ రూట్ సెవెన్ ఈస్ మైనస్ సెవెన్ సో క్వాడ్రటిక్ పాలినామిల్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ మైనస్ సెవెన్ ఇఫ్ ద జీరోస్ ఆర్ మైనస్ సెవెన్ సారీ ఇఫ్ ద జీరోస్ ఆర్ మైనస్ రూట్ సెవెన్ అండ్ రూట్ సెవెన్ In arithmetic progression, minus 2, 2, 6, 10, so on is 94, a term in it is or not. In the given arithmetic progression, a is first term minus 2, d is a2 minus a1, 2 minus of minus 2 is 4. So we know a, we know d. So if we know this both, we have to use nth term formula. Nth term formula is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. In the, clearly in the question, an is given as 94. Nth term formula everywhere, wherever possibility is there, we have to write the formula students. To, marks are also allotted for the formulas. So, a n last term 94 replaced with 94. A first term n minus 1, we have to find n in this problem. D we got it as 4. Replacing the value and calculating, we get n value as 25. Moving on to the 8th question, write the formula for median of a group of data and explain the terms in it. So we know the formula for uh, median L plus N by 2 minus CF by F into H where L is lower boundary of median class. N is sum of observations. CF is cumulative frequency of preceding the median class. F is frequency of median class and H is 10th question, find the length of the tangent from a point 10 cm away from the center of the circle of radius 6 cm. So radius is given as 6, we need to find length of the tangent with, that is AB. So we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem. So that is nothing but after calculation AB will become 8 as per Pythagoras triad. 13th question, use Euclid division algorithm to show the square of any positive integer is of the form 4P or 4P plus 1. So let A be a positive integer, Euclid division lemma formula you have to apply students A is equal to BQ plus R. And the condition 0 is less than or equal to r less than b. If b value is 4, obviously remainder will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So we have to take each condition now. First, if r is equal to 0, square on both sides and we will get a value, a square value as 4p. Now similarly, r is equal to 1, square on both sides. You will get a square is equal to 4q square, 4q plus 1 whole square and, and we will get 4p plus 1. From a well shuffled deck of 52 cards, if face cards are removed and one card is selected at remove random from remaining cards, find the probability of getting a ace card. Ace means we there are four ace cards in the deck of card students. So probability of getting a ace card will be 4 by 52, which is nothing but 1 by 13. Out of 52 cards, face cards will be 12. So 12 by 52 is the probability of getting a face card. So it is also can be expressed as 4 3s are 4 13s are 3 by 13. Red prime number cards. So prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7. So red cards 2 will be 2 cards. Red cards 3 will be 2 cards. Red cards 5 will be 2 cards. Red card 7 will be 2 cards. Total 8 cards out of 52 are red color prime cards. So 4 2s are 4 13s are. So probability of getting a prime number that is red card is 2 by 13. The lifespan of 225 electric items are given below. So lifespan electrical items. So find the mode. So we have to find the mode for the given data. So before doing the procedure you have to find the modal class. Modal class how to find out is searching the bigger frequency. Once bigger frequency is identified it has to be expressed as F1 preceding class as f0 succeeding will be f2 so if we know f0 f1 f2 and l is the lower limit of the modal class then we have to apply the formula mode formula is l plus fn minus f0 by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into h replacing these values in the formula will get modal class as 65.6 so mode is 65.6 Construct a triangle of side 4, 5, 6 cm, then construct a triangle similar to 3 by 4th of the corresponding sides of the triangle. 
so this scale factor problem is very very important students definite question so first we have to construct a triangle with the given measurements then we have to construct a triangle 3 by 4 of the given triangle as the denominator is more that our required triangle lies inside the triangle so we have to draw a parallel line from the third part similarly parallel line to ac that is a dash c dash so these two lines are parallel therefore this triangle a dash b c dash is our required triangle 